Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. And in this video series, we're going to learn how to create the dungeon that your players are going to love to explore. Today, we're going to talk about treasure and how to generate it and how to populate it. Oh yes, treasure, good old treasure. Why do your groups even go out to adventure? For the fun, for the glory, to help people, but... Yeah, they're going out for treasure. They want to find cool stuff. So, let's ask ourselves, what is the point of treasure? The most simple answer would be to reward your group for whatever job they have performed. Treasure can be like the reward for a, sto uh, for a quest they complete, or it can be stuff they come upon randomly. Now, we have to answer a very, very important question. How much is too much? In every role-playing game, as the players advance, gold or whatever currency your game uses becomes less and less important to them out of the simple reason that usually by Adventure 5, they have more than what they know what to do with. So, what you want to do is, you want to give them as much treasure to keep them coming back for more, but you never want to overdo it. Uh, in later adventures, you want to think of ways to drain that gold out of them. In other words, you uh, either have it be stolen or you can have them spend it on something. Like in my campaign, my players bought their own castle and that was my chance of ciphering some of that abundant gold that they had. But uh, treasure comes also in other forms. It comes in spells, it comes in magic items, it comes in weapons. All of that can be, you know, part of loot and can be part of treasure. Now, there are two ways to create loot for your players. You can create it at the beginning when you, you know, design your adventure, you write down whatever it is. That's, that's good. And if you play at the table, then I definitely recommend you do that. There are some uh, very good uh, treasure generators online that you can use. And if you play around the table, I definitely recommend that you use those. However, if you are on some kind of virtual tabletop, I encourage you to create a loot level chart. What is a loot level chart? It would be something like this. Now, in I, you know, my group, we are using Fantasy Grounds, and Fantasy Grounds lets you um, put charts in, which you can roll through. So, in, and of course, you can do something like that also if you're around the table. So, every time my players find a level one loot, this is what this is level one, they roll dice. Now, level one is the lowest kind of loot level they can come upon. So let's say they roll a, uh, they roll a six, they get 64 gold pieces. Yes, I know D&D has many different coins. Personally, I think that is annoying because you constantly keep calculating in your head how much is that worth, how much is that worth. I have decided I'm going to stick just with gold pieces and call it a day simply to make my life easier. And of course, you can decide that. And these kind of roles are very arbitrarily. Now, I would also include items in your chart. And if you want, you can add another column for weapons and armor. That's totally up to you. All it is, is you're adding an extra element of randomness to your campaign 
to give the players more excitement. Let's assume they roll a 1. On my chart, they're getting a cantrip spell, and then I'm gonna make them roll 1d8 and find out for what class that is. If you just want to give them a spell for their class, hey, that's up to you. Then, if they roll a 20, they get a level 1 spell for their class. So this is a very simple table. The player's handbook has tons of charts that you can use, or you can create your own charts. Now, this is going to take a while to create, but keep in mind you only do that once, and it will save you a lot of time in the long run. I like to give them trinkets at this level. So it is completely up to you what you want to eh, do. Design your chart and customize it for your game. Make it the way you like it, and your players are going to thank you for that. Now. Going back to the question, how much is too much? Especially in higher levels, when you create uh, level 2, 3, 4, and even level 5 loot charts, and you roll that randomly, you're going to come on some very, very powerful items that you can randomly get. I would, before I hand out the loot to the players, I would double check if the item can derail your campaign pretty significantly. Now, it's up to you to do that, but I have found that some of the items, in my opinion, are too powerful and they destroy the game. But uh, again, that is up to you. So for our last room, the secret room, all we're going to do is add a treasure, we have done that, we're going to use the loot level, I'm going to say loot level 1, and that's it. I'm going to put the links of some um, generators into the video, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and remember, there's only one RPG Lord. I wish you a good day.